We're back with another edition of What Do You Know? Your goal is simple. Tell us which of our three panelists is the real child of God. Time to get to know our panelists. First, panelists, tell us a little bit about yourselves. I just I really need to answer all these questions I have. Where did God come from? Why do bad things happen? Oh, my turn. Sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry. I gotta get to soccer practice, and then I gotta get to band rehearsal, and then I gotta get to honor society, and then botany club, and then I've got... I've made so many mistakes. I need to apologize to God again. Good to meet you, everyone. Panelists, tell me, what do you think makes you a child of God. I think being God's child means you never have any questions. If I win MVP this year, I'll know I'm a child of God. If only I never did anything wrong, then I'd be God's child. Viewers, who do you think is the real child of God? Hold on, before you cast your votes, there's something you should know. 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10. God chose you to be his people. You are royal priests. You are a holy nation. You are God's special treasure. You are all these things so that you can give him praise. God brought you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. But God can't choose me. I still have questions. God made you to ask questions and to learn. But if God loves me, won't he help me win the award? You are God's special treasure, whether you succeed or fail. That verse isn't about me, though, is it? It is about you. You are God's child, not because of what you have or what you've done, but because of how much God loves you. All you have to do is choose to follow Jesus and live our lives for him. So, would the real child of God please stand up? I still have questions, but I guess I can follow God through them. I'm really thankful God loves me, even if I'm not MVP. That includes me? Yes. And everyone watching, that includes you as well. So, could you bring your questions, your doubts, your successes, your failures, your regrets, every part of your life and give them to God today. Because no matter who you are, you were made to be a child of God.